I'm Christian Lamichka and today I present you Tia Goins. Tia, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm glad to be here. Tia, it's your probably your first time at CRS, I think so. Yes, it is. This is my very first time. I'm very excited. Tia, can you please introduce yourself um, to our readers and all the country fans in Europe who might be hearing about you for the first time? Sure. Well, um, I've got a brand new album. Uh, it's full of traditional country music. Um, I think that that's something we don't hear a lot of these days, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to kind of bring that out to a new generation of people. Um, we've got a lot of good country music on the record, uh, fiddles and steel guitars and things of that nature that, uh, that I really love, good shuffles, and, and country music the way I remember it. That's the name of the album is the way I remember it. Tia, you're really young, so... In which age you start your music career? I started singing when I was about uh, four years old, whenever I was in church. Uh, just, you know, my grandmother was a singer, and so it just kind of was in our family to, to naturally sing. And uh, I started singing in church and then got involved in talent shows and fairs and things like that. And when I was eight years old, I was asked to be part of a country music show in Missouri, where I'm from. Uh, and I did that for 11 years. And I was on stage every weekend with a live band and a live audience. And it was a great training ground. Um, and we did a lot of traditional country music. So that was just really all I knew, you know, growing up was, was the good, you know, Loretta Lynn and, and uh, Hank Williams and, you know, all those, those great Ray Price and, and, you know, the great singers of our time. And I, um, I did that, like I said, up through college. And, and then I moved to Nashville. And, and we started working on this record of, about a year ago. And I'm just so proud of it. So you're songwriting too, correct? I do write a little bit. Um, I've just kind of dabbled in songwriting. It's something that I would like to explore more uh, probably pretty soon. I've, I've been kind of getting the itch to start writing again, so I'm excited about that. So tell us about... Um The song you have out now, there, I think there's something special inside. Yes, uh, the song that we are, the, the current single that we have out is called Letter from God. Uh, it's the last song on the album. It was written by Angela Cassett and Rob Crosby. And the song is, I don't know, I, the only way I can explain it is that everyone can relate to this song. I feel like everyone who hears it can say, I've been there. I've, I've had that happen, you know. And uh, it, it's just such a, it's an incredible song. We're getting ready to do a video on it, and uh, it's going to be a really neat concept. We just had some meetings last week about it. I'm so excited to get it out there. Uh, but the song, it, like I said, it, it just, it's going to mean something different to everybody, but I think everybody will be able to relate to it. I can remember me that you were more successful in Europe than you are in the U.S. What do you think how that's come? It's been amazing. We have gotten some great reviews um, from some magazines in the U.K. Uh, we were the album of the month uh, in Country Music People and uh, Maverick Magazine did a great review with us. And so it's been amazing to me when I hear from people you know, overseas saying, we love your record, we've, you know, and I'm going, wow, you've heard of me, you know, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's really been amazing, and I cannot wait to come and visit, that's, that's what I'm really looking forward to, is, is being able to go over there, I feel like um, you guys have such a, such more of a grasp of the kind of country music that, that I do, and that traditional sound, uh, it seems like you guys are really into that over there, and I'm so happy, that, that thrills me, so I'm, I'm looking forward to going over there and playing for y'all. I'm wondering that you're so traditional because um, artists in your age uh, might be saying, oh, Taylor Swift and all these young people. You're right. Um, and, you know, I think there, there are so many different kinds of country music now, and I think there's a place for everyone. Uh, but I feel like my place is in that traditional vein. Like I said, I, I grew up not knowing that there was any other kind of music but what I was hearing on an AM radio back home that played classic country. And, and my grandmother sang, and that's the kind of music she did. And, and any time I ever sang, even as a child, I was singing old country standards, you know. And uh, I feel like that music is what built country music. If it weren't for that stuff, we wouldn't have a Taylor Swift and, and a, you know, people like that. There, there's this, you know, these roots that I feel like need to be tended to, and I'm hoping I can, I can tend to the roots and, and uh, kind of share that kind of music with a new generation. Generation. You know, the way we did this record, it's, it's a contemporary take on the classics, and uh, it, it's still got that classic sound, but it doesn't have to sound corny or old-fashioned. It, it's got a contemporary sound to it, and so I was really proud that we were able to kind of tie those two worlds together. 
Many music fans today get their information over the internet. So do you have a fan website and also do you have on your, your own fan club so people can join it? Uh, we do have a website. It's teagoins.com, T-E-E-A-G-O-A-N-S.com. Um, you can get all kinds of information there. We've got a mailing list that you can sign up to get updates. Um, there's videos and pictures and you can listen to music there. Um, I've also got a MySpace and a Facebook and a Twitter and I love all that stuff so if you want to add me please do because I enjoy all of those social networking tools it's so much fun to get to talk to people you know all over the world um, through the internet it's it's an amazing thing for musicians and I've also got a YouTube page out there too so you can see some of the, the live performances so as you know um, I have a charity project running um, with a friend of mine. So would you please like to sign the guitar for us because we'd like to raise money for um, breast cancers um, project we have. Um, I think it's starting October or something like that. So would be so kind to sign the guitar. Absolutely, I would be proud to. Thank you for asking me. So, please, last message you like to send to your European country fans. Thank you. Thank you so very much. I love you guys, and I love that you love traditional country music, and I cannot wait to come and see you. I'm looking so forward to it. Thank you guys for being great fans. Thanks for the interview. Thank you.